get ready for a party on your palate from Portuguese. Uh, we have marinated shrimp, chicken. This is going by way too slow to try to get this in like this. That's what she said. Fish. And we have pork. Yes, and the onions marinated in the Portuguese party pleasure. Uh, we also have wild rice, uh, sweet potatoes, and green beans, and these freaking pinata, whatever they call it, lupinis, 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 something like that. Brought to you by Anna Camera. Okay, we are in the kitchen. There you go. Hey, Ashi and myself. Um, this is actually, uh, if you saw the other vlog, uh, it might not, the vlog might not have come out yet because these, these, these other videos that's not vlogs uh, come out maybe right beforehand. But uh, Anna uh, Kammerer had actually, she's a, a disposal team member and a moderator, a real good friend that sent us some stuff via Amazon. Uh, we got some pickled, like, I don't know if it's pickle, but it's a uh, lumini beans, L lupini. I'm saying it wrong, I know. But uh, we got some beans there to try. Uh, we got some candies. Uh, a lot of this stuff is Portugal, South African, and something else. I know that's South African. It's just uh, South it's African Australian here. Australian and something else. Australian and something else. This is, um, we're going to try chicken and wings. UK with this and UK. We're gonna try chicken wings with this. This is a medium hot garlic and lemon herb. Um, and we got some pickling uh, spice and marinade. You can marinate fish, chicken, pork, and uh, something else. Rabbit, wild game. Uh, but we're gonna try the fish on a video. So today's video, um, we, have to, uh, we have to incorporate sugar, uh, vinegar, water, and onions. Uh, we're gonna be doing um, this right here. It says two to three days. It says two to three days to go ahead and, 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 and do this and put it in the um, oven. I mean, oh, not the oven. Cut, cut, cut. Put it in the microwave. Oh, not even the microwave. Cut, cut, cut. Put it in the refrigerator. You, you yes, do? yep. Refrigerator, two to three days. But we're gonna put it in for a week. What we're gonna do is do the marinade with the fish, um, with shrimp. Um, with chicken and I'm gonna try it with pork probably so we're gonna try all those and while we're trying those and we're gonna put them all in this video we're gonna try this last because we're doing the video now for this but we have to let this sit in the refrigerator for about two to three days but I'm gonna wait a week so it really uh, sit in a little better um, so we're gonna do this and um, this is gonna be part of the video so what are we starting with you gotta cut the onions into eights eights Yes. Okay, so we're going to chop these up real quick. Um, let me uh, put some of this stuff away and we'll get to chopping and uh, get to going on this quick a quick little recipe deal. Go post stop recording. Go post stop recording. All right, get to the onions chopping. You want me to chop and you hold the camera? I don't care. Okay, she got it all chopped up. I'm gonna read this real quick. It says, combine contents of package with one quarter cup of water, one cup white vinegar, half cup sugar, mix until well blended. Cut three medium onions and place onions into a quart sized jar. So we'll do that.
I'm going to kind of sprinkle the other ones in there too to try to get all the white ones in there and those. And then throw all the red ones in and then we'll just shove. Once the hot water gets in there, um, they had it, it said hot water. Um, to pour hot water in there, two it's cups of hot water. at the bottom. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, that's why I do pickles. I have to kind of play Tetris in there. Yeah, I didn't notice that until I had already got up here. Well, let's put some hot water in there a little. Uh... See what happened? Yep. Let that soak and then we blend this to other stuff together. Okay. We'll let that soak in there and we're going to mix this other stuff together. Um, that should uh, let it, uh, it'll heat the onions up a little bit and then let them compact a little bit more. So let me get a bowl for this other stuff, whisk that together and we'll be right back with, uh, with the rest of this. Maybe not. This all I'll together. All yeah, all of it together. All goes in a pool. Except that big four cup water deal. Okay, we got the hot water and we have this mixed up. Uh, we did smell this. Um, it smells like, what does it smell like? It smells like Italian dressing, like tangy. I don't know, it smells like it's, a version of Italian and dressing. And I smell, it smells pretty much like Italian. I'm not sure, I don't want to say that, that somebody took somebody's recipe <laughs> from Portuguese, but I don't know. From Portugal? Portugal. Portuguese, same thing, Portuguese is people. Okay. Okay, so technical. Okay, and uh, can you hold this camera for me? I'm going to dump this out. It says to dump the hot water out. Uh, I'm going to use this so I don't burn my hands. <laughs> you do it too much. Okay. Okay, there you go. I'll hold the camera and you do the pouring in that. How about I pour it in here? Pour it in here first? Okay. <laughs> this seems like it'll go a little bit better. Okay. Make sure I get all the all the stuff with it. Okay. And you want to pour that over the sink or you want to keep it right where it's at? You're probably pretty good. I think you can do it. It's much is going to go right now. Okay, and we'll just put the lid on it. That's leftovers. Um, maybe we can do a little a lower jar. Um, I wouldn't feel too much. You can put the lid on it. So we'll put the lid on it. And uh, okay, she put more into it. It's her fault if it comes all over the place. I know it sounded wrong, but I meant you know my uh, you know what I meant. Keep PG. Okay, that is two to three days in the refrigerator. And it's, okay, it's not hot, hot, because we put the other mixture in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can put it in the fridge. I was going to put it outside since it's cold outside and get it cool first and then do it. But, okay, well, that that is that, folks. Um, so this is uh, going to be in here for about a week instead of two to three days. 
I want to put it in the refrigerator. And, it's like uh, let it stand for two to three days, and then it's a period, and then it's a refrigerate. Oh, so don't keep it outside? God, I mean, we got to read the black parts. Oh, it's, it's red. It's, that's what the problem is. It's red it parts. It says let stand two to three days, period, and then refrigerate, I guess. I don't know. Okay, well, if we die, it's because she uh, she said to keep it out. <laughs> so we're going to do that, and we will see you eventually. I'm going to do another light in here because that whole thing on this side is pretty, look, so it's dark. So I have to uh, get a light in here to make it a little better because that, that angle's better. We're going to get a, um, an island in here, but we got that going. Um, we will let you know on that. But the next thing you're going to see on this video will be uh, one of the shrimps, chickens, uh, wild boar or elephants or whatever we're cooking and we're going to marinate and stuff so thank you for watching this um see you in a bit two days later okay we headed to kroger here to uh to get the fish pork shrimp chicken and stuff for the uh the marinade let me get my mask on and pick up the items and i'll talk to you in a little bit Okay, we're opting to get the fresh stuff. Um, so I'm gonna spend a little bit more money um, because Anna was so nice to uh, send us all that stuff. So we're gonna make sure that we get some nice, uh, nice fresh uh, products for the, uh, for the marinade. Um, but let me get back with you. Uh, we're gonna pick this out, uh, get a couple other things. And uh, yeah, that'll work, one of those. It doesn't matter. All right, I'll be right back. I got choices to make. Headed back to the house now. Um, we got we got a burn on her finger. Cut. She found out she got a cut because she has a real job. She got a paper, paper cut. But that's not funny. But um, I'm um, I'm gonna go back to the house and talk to you a little bit more about um, everything um, about what Anna did. If you missed that vlog, I'm not sure if the vlog's out or not, or if the vlog just came out. Uh, but uh, this is going to be a video just uh, with uh, the marinades and stuff that Anna sent. Uh, so I'll talk to you when I get in the house. A few moments later. Okay, I'm going to get everything out the refrigerator. We have to put everything up um, to get situated. Um, but I'm ready to do the, uh, the shrimp, fish, and stuff. We got the onions that we already marinated in there. Uh, so that is uh, that video. I think you already saw that video. So... Uh, we did get this meat for half price, so we, we're going to package that up and freeze some of it. She's going to make tacos later. Um, here is the uh, shrimp. We didn't get a lot of everything. We were just getting a, a little bit of, of, of everything it needed to, to be on here. So I got my little pork, pork loin. Um, got some shrimp, got some fish, and some chicken. Uh, I'm going to read on here and see. Combine contents of this package with half cup water. Um, it says marinate approximately an hour. I think it's for the fish and the fish and the shrimp. I'm not really sure. Let me um, let me see if I can get with Anna, the uh, Portuguese specialist of this that sent it sent it to us. Um, hopefully she's available to talk, and I'm gonna let her know that. She's on speakerphone. Yeah.
Hello? Hey. Hey, Anna, how you doing? Good, how you doing, Brandon? I'm doing good. I got a question to ask you first. Is it okay for me to have you on speakerphone and my video at the same time? Sure. All right, you're going to be famous. Uh, not really, because I'm not. <laughs> but uh, I have a question. I'm about to do your Portuguese. Uh, well, you want to say hi to everybody first? Well, hi, everybody. All right. There we go. Um, Anna's going to help me with this. I'm doing the Portuguese stuff, and it says to marinate only a half an hour. Is that just for the fish? Fish and the chicken. Okay, because it, it was it to cook it or something? The acidic levels or something? It, yeah, it'll cook it. It'll cook the chicken, and well, it'll cook the chick the fish really quickly, but it'll cook the chicken also. Okay, I didn't know about the chicken. I know we got shrimp as well, so we'll wait on the shrimp, and we'll wait on the. Um, fish and the chicken right beforehand so if you, if you ever do pork i know tasha does eat pork uh, i got pork anyway screw her whoops <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing everybody's hearing you laughing at me saying that to her she's right here she's right here so but if you do pork um the pork is better if you do one inch or larger chunks Okay. And you, you marinate them for two to five days, depending on the size of the chunk. Oh, wow. Let me jump on that then. I'm going to do the pork today then. I'm going to cut that into one-inch chunks. And yeah, then... Put it away with two and a half, three days. Okay. So I'll do that. And then what about the chicken? The chicken, I would think, would be a little less cooked than the fish. Should I do that like two hours ahead of time? Then do the fish like a half an hour? Yeah, I would do the chicken... Anywhere from one to two hours. Like oh. you do it for an hour and a half and then go ahead and start doing your, okay. your fish. What kind of fish are you doing? Um, we are doing the uh, the dead one, the dead fish. You're doing dead fish. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot easier. Okay. Yeah, them. yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I'm too old for that mess. Okay, you know, catfish fillets. Catfish fillet. Some people say fillet. I have never eaten catfish in my life. Are the fillets thin? There are, they're not real thin. They're kind of, so just probably a half an hour, I would say, huh? Yeah, and then the shrimp would probably, yeah. probably do it less because shrimp, you know, have you ever had ceviche? Oh, yes, yes, you have. So I knew that, I knew that part of it cooked quick, so I knew we, we didn't want to do that because this, this, this stuff is like a, uh, like a vinaigrette kind of taste. Like a like a Italian dressing, like a real strong Italian dressing. Yeah, and actually, um, when we do the pork, we don't normally use that. We have used that, uh -huh. but I actually have um, my grandmother's Portuguese recipe for pork. Oh, so you gave us the the other the dud stuff, and you kept the good one for the pork for you. Well, I can, I, I can, no, I'm I just can't. joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get this wrapped up because my battery is about to die on my GoPro. But I wanted to call, and I'm going to call you later and, and just chat with you, okay, if you're going to be available. Okay. 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 Well, good luck. All right. Well, thank you very much. I'm just going to start with this pork, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right. Bye, everybody. All right. <laughs> I'm waving for you. Oh, she hung up on me. Okay. Well, guys, uh, that was Anna, and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this pork, and it's about one inch slices now, so I can just dice it up. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick and mix this together. I'll show you that what I'm doing with this, and we'll get the other stuff done um, in two days, and then we'll have it all ready to go at the same time. So be right back and show you um, my mixing um, skills. Go post stop recording. Okay, it was uh, no bad, like mad scientist stuff there. It was just uh, mixing them two things together. I don't know what you, I don't know what you was expecting. Uh, I will cut this up real quick before I put the uh, marinade in the bag. So let me get the, let me show you a little fancy cut in here. It's not really fancy.
Wash your hands first. I already did it. Um, one second. Hold on. One inch pieces, and I said one inch pieces, so I'm going one inch pieces. If it don't come out right, it's all Anna's fault. Okay. There we go. Get one inch pieces this direction. And I'll just eyeball it with this one. Ooh, this is about a three quarter inch. I don't know. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Put them in the bag. Throw them on. There we go. It's not all well blended. I'll have to do that in the bag. Got all the morsels. Get a little bit of the air out. There we go, got it all in the bag. We're gonna do this for like two to five, two to three days. And then uh, in about two days, we'll do the fish and we'll see how it, see how it goes. Well, I'm putting this in the refrigerator. See you in a couple days. Guys, look what I got on. Yep, got my the garbage disposal apron on. Got to do some little cooking. Well, marinating. Um, I have. Uh, you already saw us do the uh, pork. Um, you have to do that uh, about eight. Well, two to three days, I believe. Wasn't it two to three days? Yeah. Two to three days. We did the onions. Two to three days of the pork. Well, now it is the chicken. Um, as you heard, uh, Anna said to do the, the chicken one to two hours, and I'm a little extra, so I'm going to go with the two hours. We're going to eat it four today. It's about two. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this marinade together. Um, and in like 30 minutes, uh, before we're going to cook, we're going to do the, the fish and the shrimp because it'll cook. It'll make the, the shrimp and the fish rubbery, especially the shrimp because it'll cook with all the... Uh, the acidic uh, in the uh, spices, it'll, it'll cook it. So what I did was just put another package, one package in here with a half a cup of water. And let me show you my track and field Nintendo um, skills. Okay. And for you, you cheaters, you cheaters use the spoon on the Nintendo things. I didn't even know nothing about the spoon. I did this. Okay. Okay, that's extra. My extra stuff I put in my videos. But just mix this together really good. And when you do with chicken, you need to wash your hands, especially when you slice your hand open with a knife, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm not even gonna touch the chicken, but I did touch the pack, so I'm gonna put it in this bag instead of a smaller bag because I want the marinade to go all over it. So there you go. Here you go. Nothing fancy, get in there. And all the rest of the goodies need to go in the pool too. Okay. And I'll try to get all the air out, out of here too. So let me show you that. Get all the air. Get down here, get down here on my level. Don't need your two cents when I said that. Stoop to my level right here. There you go. We need a vacuum sealer and this would be done in like 10 minutes, but there you go. Just get it, get it all in the bath like that and put it in the refrigerator. That's all you gotta do. So 
let me um, put that on a plate, wash my hands, and uh, we will see you in about, well, Magic and TV, I guess, 10 seconds, maybe, five seconds, two seconds. Okay, but it'll be about an hour and a half for us. See you in a little bit. I just cursed, cursed, cursed. The whole time I just talked to you guys, I had a freaking gooey butter cake. I was licking the god dang beaters. Whatever, folks. The, the freaking mixer beaters. And had white stuff all over my... You didn't even tell me. You probably didn't comment, but that's what it was, okay? That's the story I'm sticking to it. So, see you in a little bit. Jesus. Go post stop recording. Okay, back without white stuff on my face. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll let you say it. Uh, but I have uh, fish here. This is uh, catfish fillets uh, from the farm, fillet farm. Um, and we have some jumbo white 21, 25 frozen farm raised shrimp. Uh, 21 to 25, that means per pound. So 20, so the lower the number, the bigger the shrimp. So these babies are pretty nice. They're not tiger paws, like freaking humongous, but they are a decent size. Um, I'm not a fan of wasting a lot of these. I usually wash these out. I'm using a lot of these, so I'm getting, I'm getting a headache because I don't like to waste these. But I already got the mixture in here. I put two packs. Not Tupac, Tupac Shakur. Uh, but I'm gonna mix two of these together with a cup of water, because it's a half cup a piece. And I am going to uh, place it in another large bag, because I want it to coat all the way around. And it's only 30 minutes for this. Uh, and you want to clean your hands afterwards. The fish are trying to swim away. But I have four fillets in there. I'm gonna put a splash of that. And we're gonna get a vacuum sealer, like I said. Uh, let, me get you, let me get you closer to the, the action here. There you go. I gotta scoop down like this and look stupid. Because Tasha's looking at me stupid up in there. Okay, like usual. She's looking at me like I'm, re oh, not that word. That means slow though. This is not closing. I must use it one too many times. Uh, that's the downfall. That's the downfall. Let me get down here. And hear it click. Okay, it's in there. It's in there. Got the shrimp. Um, so this is 30 minutes. Um, we're gonna she's gonna cook some sides here in a minute, and I'll let you uh, see all about that. But let me uh, make it like this. Okay, put a little bit of this mixture in here. I'll put a little bit more of that mixture in that bag after I undo it. Okay, there you go. I'll uh, get this in a minute. We're gonna get an island in a minute, okay? We're getting an island freaking out here. So you're, you'll see it next time. You've probably seen the vlog already, but I did do gooey butter cake. I have to show you, look at this. Gooey butter cakes, that's for people that order uh, t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, or aprons. You get uh, a free sample of that or banana bread. Uh, I'll show you the recipe real quick so you can make your own. <laughs> okay, gotta go. Go post stop recording. Go post stop recording. Okay, we finna um, get ready to... Oh, that's Tasha. You, I've, been, I've been on the whole video, then bam. Who's that? He grew and got taller and browner. There you go. Anyway, what we're going to do, as he explained before, we got some uh, marinade from Anna. So we kind of wanted to taste the flavor of the marinade. So we decided not to like season it the way that I normally season stuff. 
We're just going to do a simple season um, with just salt and pepper with the marinade. So no crazy like Cajun yeah, strong. Yeah, because normally I put like garlic powder and other kind of stuff in there. I'm not going to do that today. We're just going to do a simple salt and pepper. Okay. Um, I also decided to saute it with um, olive oil in the pan. So that's what we're going to do with this today. Okay, I'll get this out of here and I'll get to seasoning a little bit, uh, some video of that and get right back with you. Just a light season on everything. And pepper. Okay, we're just doing that so we don't hide the flavors of the Portuguese uh, seasoning. So we're going to do that and uh, get this in the oven. And when it gets out, we'll be at the table with the um, onions and stuff. But I'll show you the partial preparation of her cooking. Well, it we just... going to fry it on, on, in a pan. In a pan, okay. I'll just uh, I'll get a couple of sizzling, Ooh, sexy things. shots of that. And then uh, uh, we'll see at you <coughs> at the table. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. I only say I usually say it once because my blessings are good all day, 24 hours. My blessings are good. Yeah, you're being nice because we on camera. Yeah, because at the construction site, um, I used to say, "Who did that?" Because I've already blessed you, then you don't get another blessing. You don't get another blessing for for the day. So, but she's she's particular about it. She needs one every time she does it. Okay. <laughs> Hello folks, um, I would say welcome to another food review. I guess it is, but we, is. Well, I was just talking to you guys a little while ago. 
<laughs> but uh, I want to thank Anna again. So thank you for sending. Well, I'm thanking you in advance. I don't know how it's going to taste. I might. I'm thanking you anyway for your uh, kindness. Thank you. That's better. Thank you. There you go. Because you're going to thank Anna. Okay. First of all, we did these a week ago. Uh, you're supposed to do two to three or four days. Put them in the refrigerator. So um, you don't pickle them um, like I'm used to pickling stuff where you do boiling water for 15 minutes in a, in a quart jar and uh, let, let it seat you know, the seal. Um, but uh, you do these for about three or four days. I, I put them in a week, and that's what Anna said to do. So I put them in the refrigerator for a week. Um, so it was in there five days, and then... Well, four days, and then we did the pork. The pork's two to three days. Uh, so we did that um, two to three days ago. Then we did the fish, uh, 30 minutes. The chicken, two hours. Fish, 30 minutes. Shrimp, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So all this came out. So we can fix it all exactly at the same, the same time. time. Yeah. And she actually sauteed. With it right here. Yeah. She actually sauteed the onions. Um, yeah, because I wanted to try them. Um cooked Different. and raw because she doesn't like raw onions uh, but uh i'm gonna get a picture of that because i forgot to okay and i got a picture of everything else for you as you saw yeah we also have wild rice i don't know if he said that wild rice green beans and sweet potatoes they're not the they're sides. not they're not yams because that's a different thing that's another whole topic you got to google it don't i'm not getting that argument with you guys and lupini beans. Yeah. And I said it kind of probably them, like at Portuguese. At first I thought that we had to cook them, but you actually like, they're kind of, I guess. So flower seeds of, of Portugal. Kind of like garlic cloves where you have to peel the outside off and pop the garlic out. That's probably kinda. a better analogy. I yeah. said sunflower seeds. It's, it's okay. Okay. But you anyway, spit the shell out? It's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of like. Um, how when you peel the garlic, you have to take the crack the outside and get the soft inside out from me Googling how to eat it. Because at first I was thinking we had to cook them, but you don't. But they don't do that. Lupini. That's like Italian though. If you say it, Lupini. Lupini or Lupini. We don't know how to say it. So Like say exactly like that. That's like Italian though, if I said it. I thought this was Portuguese. Though. I know, but if I say Lupini, I don't think Portuguese people say just like that and do the hand gesture. Extra. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, onions are last. Uh, and the, I mean, this is really good. I've had it before. Should we just go ahead with the the main? Yeah, we can just we'll eat this do later. The meats. I mean, I'm still going to have it on my, I'm going to put it on. Oh, you'll plate. put it on your plate. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, let's get all fancy. Okay. What do you want to try first? I'm going to try pork real quick. No, Wait, I'm going to do that ahead. last. We're going to try it first. I don't want to try the season yet. The marinated yet. Oh, you want to try the? Try the chicken. We can try the fish and the chicken. Oh, it don't matter. Let's try the fish <laughs> or the chicken. Let's try the fish. This is the, the, the chicken of the sea. Oh, you the whole piece. You, so you know you like it. No, and I'll say go ahead. <laughs> I already got yelled at because the, the 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 food reviews we did that day, and I was eating. I had a buffet later to do that. I didn't go to the buffet, but I was supposed to. I said, let her eat and effing they cussed me. Yeah, I cussed them back. Why you whisper? Oh, I pinned the comment and cussed them back. Don't ever do that to me again. I'm like, do you do you got a mouth to open up to say, hey, I want some more food? Because they're like, feed her more. Like, she's not a hostage. I don't eat nearly yeah, as she's much like as she like six times does. a day. Like, all of this stuff that we have. She's like, like, if I fix the plate and I got this piece of fish, probably about two pieces of shrimp, a piece of chicken, I will not finish this plate. No, but I mean, it's just a matter of a grown person can say, hey, he I want he more. He doesn't starve me. No. It's I'm like, just, let her eat. Like, I'm I got to do a food I just don't you. gain weight like that. Like, don't get me all riled up. Let's, let's get to this He's fish. just larger than me. He no. eats more than me. We got it under control. Thank okay. you. Let's go. Money going to bump. Good. I like that. That is a good flavor. And it's it's sweet, but it's yeah, not I was overly just say, sweet. It's like a sweet. It's like yeah, me it's... on Mondays. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad we decided to just do light. Light. 
So just you, simple. So you're like, oh, it's Cajun. Pepper. Yeah. Salt and pepper, not even season salt. So it's not even garlic. Yeah. And I didn't use a lot of salt or pepper. Just to. I was thinking it's going to be like Italian because I, I tasted the marinade by itself. It tastes real. To me, it tastes more of a sweet chili sauce, but it's sweet not chili as. Sweet chili Italian dressing. Yeah, but it's not as strong. It, but it's really good. Well, it has the marinade hint. is. The marinade is real strong. If you drank it like I did, like took a sip of it, that's what I was saying. No. Don't do that. Please don't. It's concentrate. That is good. That is it's really simple. good. It's simple. It's simple and it brings the... I would rather, because I know some people, they use Italian dressing to marinate their foods in. I would rather use this from now on. You want one of these? I could do a piece Do it your of, own? I could do the small one. Oh, I was going to say you could do it yourself. I thought, I thought you was going to say. You want to touch my fork? <laughs> don't start with me. Okay. Just, oh, I don't have a knife to do it like yeah, a... Yeah, I'm just going to bite it. I'm a fan of this seasoning, this marinade, or whatever you want to call it. It's good, and I mean, you don't you don't get like a and I wouldn't change, too much like, of anything. Cooking cooking more with this, I wouldn't change the way I I would still just do simple salt and pepper with this. I don't think I want. I wouldn't even add garlic. No, I don't think I veer off adding extra. That's really good because it's good just by itself. And I'm going to say thank you, thank you. Yeah, because he was talking crazy that first time. I did. It better be good. That's all, camera. I told on you. I snitched. And we're drinking grape value. What is this? I don't know. I didn't pour Portuguese white grape? No, this is not Portuguese. This is just from Walmart. Uh, white grape something. Probably white grape cranberry. No, white cran something. Peach. White grape peach. White cran peach? Oh, Not even a cran. Oh. White grape. White grape peach. Okay. Let's try the shrimp. I don't mind you following my shrimp. In my hand. And I'm not a fan of the shrimp that you have to freaking work. Work and do. You just take it and pull it. Pull the legs. I just fold it and pull it, and then take the tail and pull it off. Hem it up. You fold it up. Yeah, hem it up. I hem it up. <laughs> Do you use that word in, over here in this jump? Yeah. In Memphis. <laughs> yeah. He got hemmed up. Okay. I pinched but I tail. like the shells because it's like it holds when you're cooking. It holds the flavor in it and cooks it on there. Yeah. To me, I just like the shell. I'm not a fan of the shell. Look at this. All this work. I could have already ate five of them. Five yeah, dozen. Just because you impatient. Thank you. I'm not in the hospital. Impatient. You get it? Mm. Oh, let me taste it. Not fair working here. Look at this. I'm going to eat it with a shell on it. That's what I should do. That is really good. That is good. I'm used to garlic and a lot of garlic, a lot of butter, but you taste more of the garlic and the butter. So, it's a simple, it's a simple and it's like, Complex at the same time. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. We don't know where to tell you to buy it. <laughs> Anna will have to come in it in the... Amazon, I think. Oh, well, but, yeah, I guess Amazon has everything. I'm going to say it wrong, but Vena Del Hose. De La Hose. De La Hose. Vena Del Hose. Okay. And I guess I'll still be a piece of this pork. Good. Well, it's going to be um, the same as the rest. The season's the same. It is good. I'm a fan. Well, there you go. Try out some onions. I'm going to try it on some steaks and stuff one day, too. Yeah? Mm-hmm. With Miracle Whip? I'm going to do some cooking shows. Yes. Watch my cooking shows in a little bit. Give me a month or two. I'm going to be out there in that yard Eat cooking. onions. I'm letting these fine folks know where to watch a cooking show at. And not cook like, don't cook, don't oh, try to cook wow. like me. What? Let me taste it. Let me 
They are really sweet. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's jumping out my my freaking hand. It's um like a. You get your your glands going. Yeah. It's a punch. It's a punch of flavor. Are we gonna try them raw? Mm-hmm. That is good. She's Thank you, Anna, for adding a new seasoning oh. to. And nobody's gonna know around here unless they're Portuguese. You want a piece of that? Right. Or you want your whole? I want the little piece. It still tastes a lot of onion. Mm -mm. But yeah, she's not a fan of uh, raw onions anyway. Yeah, that's just the onion itself. At so first, it I'm gonna eat this. You're not. At first, it kind of masked. Like I can eat the thin pieces, but the thicker pieces. But I mean, like, are you gonna cook? Like, if you want to saute, it, you will probably. Oh, do let it. me try a red one because that was the sweet that I tasted. You want to try a big, a big fat red one? I'm gonna taste a piece. Go and bite it and just give it back. No. Okay. It's still too oniony for me. I prefer cooked onions. Okay. Some onions I can cook sometimes, but if they're like too strong, I can't I like, handle that. I do like the um the juice though. This is the vinegar though. It's the vinegar. It's it, the this doesn't have vinegar, just water and the the uh mix. Uh right here that has the sugar, vinegar, and the mix. Oh, gotta get the bean. Oh, well, yeah. you got all getting all shrimpy on me. Okay, now how we do this? It was like crack it with your teeth to get the outer shell off and pop it out. It's like a waxy. There you go. Uh, don't do that. I can't get it off. It's like a nutty. Nutty, it's weird. Oh, there it is. I wasn't biting it hard enough. It's weird. I'm not a fan of this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have one more just to make sure I'm not a fan of it. The texture and uh, I don't like the flavor of these. Kind of too earthy. It's different. It's I don't weird. know how to explain it. I don't either. But I will leave. The, I'll probably end up eating those maybe. Like sitting on the couch. Are they good? Are they like healthy for you? I can't even see these fine print. I'm sure. It's 40 calories for I don't know how many. 12 of them. I could sit there and eat them. Well, yeah. Yeah. Watch a movie and eat them. It's not a lot of. Yeah. They're not. They're not. Well, bad. I'm going to eat the pork since she doesn't eat pork. I am. Leave her this shrimp because I'm not doing all that work while I'm just fat. Yay for me. I'll peel you some so you can eat them. But out of all this, the best, I would think, I think the fish. The fish and the chicken, the, the fish, I would say, really good, really. Okay. Anything else that you'd like to add? Um, but thank you, Anna. No, but just thank you, Anna, again for adding another seasoning marinade to my collection. Okay. For her videos, well, that she's really going to be posting. Yeah. I like this on everything. Yeah. It really made the fish and the, it really made the seafood taste good. I mean, it made the chicken taste good, too. But okay. I'm a fan. Okay. Well, we're going to get to eating and, um, until another review, and if you guys got anything that you want to send us, make sure it's through Amazon, uh, Walmart, Target, something like that, that you can trace the, the tracking number, the order number, and uh, then we can accept it in the mail. But our P.O. box is in the descriptions, so check that out. 600 um, Old Highway 51 North, number sign 256. Uh, it's in Nesbitt, Mississippi, 38651. So uh, we look forward to, uh, if you don't want to just send food, like uh, stuff uh, uh, that you bought online to there, if you just want to do a letter um, or a card, uh, we can read yeah, it. it doesn't have to be. Yeah. You don't have to spend any money. Yeah. We can we can read it. We like it. reading letters and whatever. And just let us know that we can read it on, you know, say, hey, this is, you're able to read this on your video. Yeah. So, Okay.
Well. GoPro stopped recording. So. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out, and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here, um, and you'll get a weekly newsletter. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And have a great day. Let's meet other plans.